All right, I'm finally gonna do a video that I've been meaning to make for a while. Uh, but first, I'm gonna get some props to help me out with the video. Zoe, stay here. Oh, she listened. That's new. All right, I need two more things. And then it'll all make sense. Here we go. I got my props. Ah. Time to make my review video. I'm sorry, I don't know what cat people are talking about. Dogs are awesome. I was gone for like five minutes. Right. A huge part of what I want this channel to be, not only being adventures and all that fun, uh, I want it to be a place where I can make videos about photography and electronics and like even some gear stuff that I want to review. Um, mainly as an outlet to answer questions. So this is one of them today. First one, I kind of did a gear one before. This is the first official gear review. One question that I've been asked over and over again is about these little guys, the Apple AirPods. People have seen me with them and they say, how are they? Are they as great as everybody says that they are? To which I reply, no, they suck, but they're in my pocket every single day. I'm gonna explain why. All right, number one con about these things is there's no volume control on them. So you got this little guy in that ear, you got this little guy in that ear, you start playing a song, you're listening, you're out and about, you're like, I need to turn the music up, it's too quiet. I need to turn the music down, it's too loud. You gotta go into your pocket, get your phone, and then use a little boop, 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 boop on your phone to turn the volume up and down. That's there is a way that you can turn the volume down without getting your phone out of your pocket. And you double tap here, Siri comes up, turn the volume down. But that's how you would turn the volume down. That's the only way. So if you're in public or you're in like a library or something like that and you wanna turn the volume up or down, you have to go, Siri, turn the volume down. Look, if all you gotta do is make this outside bit touch sensitive. Right? So then if they're in and I don't want to turn the volume down, I could just go down, up. How easy is that? It's like one little thing. And again, as a comparison sake, Bose SoundSport, which are a wired thing, they've still got the little three. So you've got volume up, volume down, pause, play, skip next song, skip back. All the same features that you would find on like a normal Apple headset. With these, you take that whole thing out of the equation, it leaves you with, I have this one set for Siri, so if I double tap this, Siri. And then in the settings you go in, you can customize, I have this one set to pause and play. So that's all I can do. I can ask Siri things, and I can pause and play things. That's it. Con number two is the fit. They fit exactly like wired Apple headphones? Air, ear, ear pods? Ear pods, air pods? I think ear pods. They fit just like that. So the free ones that came with your phone, they fit the exact same. Some people hate them and some people love them. If you know how those fit, you'll know how these fit because they're the exact same. For me, they're a little loose, which brings up another con. And because they're loose, one, I think that they'd fall out if I did too much, you know, craziness. I don't work out with these. I work out with these. Mainly because the fit on these is so dang good. The fit just tucks in there, it does that. You get a little wing tip up top. The other bit about that is because these are loose and these are tight, these make like a good suction in your ear. So even in noisy environments like an airplane, I can still hear my music with these. But these, because they're loose, an airplane noise is coming in and I can't even turn the volume up high enough for it. So con number three is the sound. It's eh. I would say it's on par with the free headphones that you get when you buy your phone but then they charge you $159 for these 
that kind of sound the same. If you're an audiophile, you're not going to like these. They're not that good. But for me, they're good enough. I can listen to podcasts, I can have conversations, they're great. Music, eh. Con number four is The Case. The Case is great, but it gets gross in there. You can't see very well. But all in here, when it's in your pocket, it gets like black stuff on it. And I don't know if it's like, because this whole piece is magnetic or what, but it gets covered in black stuff. Here's what I found works best. Hold on. Okay, if you buy these headphones, you also need to get yourself some of this. It's a uh, instant tacky. It's like, I always called it ticky tack when I was a kid. That sounds like probably it was a uh, brand name, but it's just a poster tack, you know? You take it and you, eh, once it's good and soft, come on. You then take it and you just kind of get in there and it takes off a good bit of it. It really gets in the crevices, which I think you can't normally get. Oh yeah, that's getting all kinds of it off. Okay, that took, that took a lot of it off, not all of it. The other thing you can use this for is the little screens on the headphone. You can jam it in there and it'll get off any like ear residue that's in there. That's how you clean them, a little pro tip. Okay. Okay, my final con about the Apple AirPods, but it's kind of a con about all fully wireless headphones in general is how you use them is you obviously put one in this ear and one in this ear, and then you put the case away. Now, the case is in your pocket. Obviously, you're doing something, blah, blah, blah. You need to take one out, but continue to do something. So you take one out, and now you need both hands. So then you just go, and you just jam one in your pocket. There's nowhere to put it. Does that make sense? So as soon as you, when you take it out, you gotta put this thing somewhere and you're not gonna take your case out just to put one away. So you just kinda like, or you just put it down somewhere and you and you leave it on the table and, it, and if it's on the table, then you're probably gonna lose it or, you know, anyways. When you have something like this, shut up. When you have bows in or any sort of, you know, corded one around your neck, it's still wireless, except this one. But when somebody talks to you or you just wanna like pop your headphones off for a second and they just hang there. And as, as like annoying as maybe that is to walk around with, it's super convenient to just pop them in or take one out, talk with someone. I'm sorry, what was that? Let me grab that for you. Oh, thanks, okay, bye. Back in. Now on to the positives of why these are with me at all times. Number one thing is the size. And, and look at this, I got this first because I thought that it might be a comparison. I got Tic Tacs, but look, they're smaller than Tic Tacs. That is a big thing of Tic Tacs though. I feel like Tic Tacs used to be, used to be smaller than that. That's huge. Oh God, I love Tic Tacs. So a better comparison is dental floss. If you have dental floss at home, you can find out how big this is because look, it's the same as dental floss. I had to buy these because we use the little flosser pick things, you know, they're different. I don't want anyone thinking that we didn't have dental floss here. We floss, okay. Pro number two is a little bit more about the charging case. The headphones themselves, they say they give you like five hours just with the headphones. Ah, maybe like three to four, maybe four and a half if you're just listening to things on low volume. I like to listen to my stuff loud, so maybe three and a half for me. But because of the little charging case, I throw them back in there for 15 minutes and it gives me another three hours of power, which is crazy. I don't know how they do that. Apple says with the charging case, you can get 24 hours of power. Now, I've never listened to my headphones for 24 hours, but I do know that I've listened to them a lot during one day, and I've never run out of power as long as I had this little guy with me. Pro number three about the AirPods is the microphone. It is awesome. Both AirPods have a microphone on the bottom and on the side, as well as an internal vibration sensor. Because of that, it's using the microphone on the bottom pick up your voice, it's using the microphone on the outside to pick up everything else that it's trying to cancel out, and it uses the vibration sensor to tell when you're speaking and when you're not. Using those three things, the audio is just awesome on these things. Everyone that I've talked to, no one knows that I have them in, no one's like, uh, are you on speakerphone or something like that? I can't hear you very well. Is that a Bluetooth that you have on? None of that. It's beautiful, it's perfectly clear. Pro number four is a bit of a, it's that they're totally wireless. Because they're totally wireless, you just have this super easy, totally wire-free experience of like, bing, bing, that goes in my pocket, I'm done. It's, there's nothing, there's nothing to catch on my neck, there's nothing to like, as my shirt moves, there's nothing to like hook, nothing. It's just, you're in. 
Now, I already talked about some drawbacks of that. You now are wireless, so you could, you could probably lose one pretty easy. But the experience is awesome, so the trade-offs are worth it. The number five pro for these is how easily they pair it to your phone. So you take your phone, you put the AirPods next to them, and you open the lid, and that happens. That's it. You don't have to go into Bluetooth settings or anything like that. It just comes up, it tells you the battery. My case is at 75%, my headphones are at 100% because they're in the case, and that's it. And the number seven pro, which I kind of already touched on, but which is just the most amazing experience is that while they're in your ears, a simple double tap brings up Siri. And Siri is getting smarter than ever. She can do so much stuff. She's listening to me right now because I double tapped it. Who, me? <laughs> I like her, she's funny. In my perfect world, I would take this pair of headphones and this pair of headphones and I would just mash them together. If I could have that earbud with the little wingtip on this, oh, it would be money. So really, Bose could just take this, make it wireless, and I'd be pretty happy. But they'd have to make a case that's small like this. I don't want this crap, that's crazy. I want this, but with rubber tips, like where they would fit in there together. So it would have to be a little bigger, but not much. Okay, I think that's totally it. Uh, I'm just going back to work for the rest of the day, so no vlog today, and this is it. It's a gear review day, which is new and exciting, and I hope you guys like it. It's a great spot on the outside. You can just make it whoop. It's like the magic mouse. You know the magic mouse? Make it like that. I want that. I want that here. I really think that's it. Zoe! <laughs> What are you doing? Look how long she is now. What are you doing?